and I think the thing that's interesting about the web is that the web, it has to adapt to what's being done in the, the world around it because what, like, we can't replace it. It's not like we're going to suddenly rewrite the entire protocol for how humanity connects and shares information. So the, the web is going to have to adapt to whatever comes next. And that necessarily, without some pretty significant coordination by a whole lot of browser vendors, means HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. And I think that things that we're going to see that are going to be really interesting is that when we introduce AI, that changes the way that you interact with things because you don't necessarily need as many navigation buttons and nested drop downs mm -hmm. and all this really complex information architecture stuff anymore. It's going to be more conversational. But I don't think everybody wants to interact with the world only through chat interfaces. So what does it look like when we actually start to think about UX from an integrated standpoint? And what does that mean for the space? And I think that this is where we're going to see the next jQuery, but it's going to be unifying different approaches to how to interact with, with um, autonomous or semi-autonomous agents that are operating different parts of websites. We're going to see the next push toward like, what does component-based architecture mean in the, the context of connected backends? And, and all those different things are going to get really interesting and somebody's going to have to solve them. And we're going to see, we're already seeing patterns start to emerge. So I, I have a hunch there will be a boom in this space and it's going to probably lead to a lot of innovation.